What's up everyone, thanks for watching. Today we're covering adverse yaw. I'm Monty, your personal ground instructor, and I always say the best way to prepare for the written exam is to know your stuff and quiz yourself constantly. One of the best ways to do that is with Glime's private pilot kit. You can get this and other pilot supplies at Pilots HQ or Amazon by clicking the links down below. Using those links supports my channel at no extra cost to you. All right, before we can talk about adverse yaw, let's review some of the basics. What are the four forces of flight? Nope, not those four. There we go. Thrust, lift, drag, and weight. When you have the four in balance, you achieve straight and level, unaccelerated flight. Induced drag is a consequence of lift and is produced by the passage of an airfoil through the air. All right, so what makes a plane turn? If you said the rudder, it's time to hit the books. The horizontal component of lift turns the aircraft. The rudder is used to account for yaw. During straight and level flight, the wings produce lift in one direction. The lift vector is purely vertical. When we roll the wings to the right, if we imagine a simple XY coordinate system, the lift vector now has vertical and horizontal components. Because we lose some of our vertical lift, we must compensate with power or elevator pressure. The horizontal component of lift pulls the aircraft through the turns. When you apply a stick deflection to the right, the ailerons move in opposite directions. The right aileron moves up and the left aileron moves down. They both change the amount of lift each wing produces. The left wing is now producing more lift than the right wing and therefore rises in the air while the right wing lowers. Do you see the problem yet? The left wing, the one producing more lift, will produce more drag than the right wing. This drag will cause the aircraft to yaw to the left in the opposite direction that we are trying to turn. So we have the wings producing lift to the right while the left wing is producing more drag creating a yawing motion to the left. This is why it's important to have a rudder. We apply rudder pressure to coordinate the turn. Remember, as you turn, you should feel like you're being pulled straight down into your seat. If you feel like you're being thrown to the inside or outside of a turn, you are uncoordinated. And if you were to stall in this condition, you are at risk of spinning the aircraft. If you're interested in learning how to recover from a spin, check out my video on spins coming soon. So to recap, what makes an airplane turn? The horizontal component of lift. What is adverse yaw? It is the tendency of the aircraft to yaw in the opposite direction of a turn due to the asymmetric lift produced by the wings. How do we account for adverse yaw? By using appropriate rudder pressure. What link should you follow for pilot books, supplies, and gifts? The ones down in the description. What should you do if you like this video? Subscribe and comment on what you would like to see next. Thanks for watching. See ya!